the Bible sets standards for everything that we can ever imagine. Y'all didn't even know y'all could disallow prayers in your household. That is a standard. Because you as a man, a godly man should already have your household in order. Right. And when it gets out of order, you got the power to put it back in order. That's what that's what God ordained. That's what being a king and a priest and a ruler is all about. Right. Setting right. things in order. You say your wife is a prophet, yeah. right? Okay. So God deals with order. What yeah. has happened to our people? As oh, order is out of control. We are, we, we are out of order. control. So let's see what God's order is from the beginning, okay? The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of man is Christ. We need to be following the example of Christ, right? Read on. And the head of the woman is the man. Oh, uh-oh. The head of the woman is who? The man. Is the man. So right now, you're learning this so that you can go home and get your house in order. Because the Bible has never said that a woman should be over head man. over my house. You, you understand that? So, we're going to get in order with God. Finish that off. And the head of Christ is God. So, the order in our nation, God, Christ, man, woman, children. You know. Let's get, uh, uh, read on, read on. Let's get that commandment, next commandment, three. Every man praying or prophesying. So, right now. We're prophesying. We're, the Bible is open. We're reading it. We're giving understanding. So it says that. Uh, read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, uh -huh. having his head covered, dishonor his head. So when we open the Bible to send up prayer, our head should not be covered. So brothers, learning that you're Israel, learning that we're coming back to these commandments, uncover your head. Because what that's going to do in keeping God's commandments, more understanding will be given to you. Just by being simply obedient. You understand that? Right now. now. So you said we shouldn't cover our heads. We when we praying or oh, prophesying. Oh, 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 when we I send up prayers or going into the Bible to read, gain understanding. Uncover your head. Because you're showing your obedience to who? I'm showing my respect to God. Through Christ. Christ. Because he's the one who died for our sins, right? Right now. Now read on. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered. So. Uncovered. Uncovered. Has your wife been in the pulpit or whatever preaching with her head uncovered? Yes. Ah, so is she actually doing what God no, she's not. gave no. directions to do? That's you making me think. Now, go to 1 Timothy. Go to 1 Timothy 2 and 11. And then we can either go to uh, uh, um, 1 Corinthians after that. Okay? We're going to go to 1 Corinthians after that. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 10. Uh-huh. But which becometh women professing godliness. Okay, verse, 11, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence. So this is what God said. Why? Because women are not. God don't deal with the men, women. He, he, he deals with the men yeah. first. And then the we man. give the instruction to our women in our households. Teach. Understand that. Because otherwise our women, they, they're emotional. You understand? Very, and, very, and very emotional. So God has got to deal with the men first. That's why I'm glad to see y'all up here. Because this is the coming back of our nation. It, it starts with the men first. Right. All right. Matter of fact, I, I know I got you holding some stuff. Go to uh, Ezekiel 34, verse 31. This is how God looks at the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men from the beginning. Okay? You got it? Yes, sir. Read. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, th verse 31. Uh-huh. And ye my flock. The flock of my pastor are men. So the shepherds of God's flock are the men. He, you know. He's sending us out to teach the word. You don't see no women out here teaching the word of God. No, not, not the, we. God says his shepherds should go out to the highways and hedges, the dangerous places. Right. We ain't going to send our women out to no dangerous places. I just want to say one thing. You know uh -huh. what? You're like my bishop who's fast. He didn't even allow women up on the pulpit. Right. Let the woman learn in silence uh -huh. with all subjection. Subjection. Who is she in subject to? Her husband. Read or up. her father if she's not married. Read the next verse. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Uh-oh. Bring it up. This goes into the prophetess. I suffer not a woman to teach. Or read. Nor to usurp authority over the man. So in that church, there are other men in the congregation, right? Yeah. There are other men in the congregation. 
with her being the prophetess, giving the instruction to those that she's usurping authority. Now, go to first. Uh, that's it on that. Go ahead and read. But to be in silence. But to be in silence. So the women should not be running anything okay. in the church. Right. No. But in our community, we allow that. Yeah, we allow Why? That. Because when we look at TBN and the 700 Club, you got all, I forgot the lady's name, the white lady name, a couple I white ladies on TV. We see them doing it. Now we got some uh, 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 black female singers, gospel singers, trying to be pastors yeah. of churches now. Because yeah. yeah. why are we doing that? We envying our oppressors. We no. still slaves, even when trying to deal with coming back to our nationality, learning what the Bible says. But what does that create for our, our people? Problems. First Corinthians 14, we start at verse 33. Problems. It, it does cause problems. Because why? It's confusing. It's Read. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 33. Uh-huh. For God is not the author of confusion. Why is that? Because God said, I'm over Christ. Christ is over the man, Bring the man out. is over the woman, the woman is over the children, and she's supposed to be teaching those things as she learns them. For, from her husband. But read on. We're going to read the Bible on that. But of peace. Uh-huh. As in all churches of the saints. So, a lot of times in our households and our communities, there ain't no peace. Why? Because there ain't no order. So, we're talking about ain't no justice, no peace. We don't even got no peace in our own household. Mm -hmm. The woman telling us, hey, I wear the pants in this household. But God so says that's out. against his order. Read on. Let your women keep silence in the church. Uh-oh. Did it say it once or did it say it twice? It said it twice. Let the women learn in silence. And it's going to show who she should ask her questions. Can I get these scriptures written down? Because somebody tell me these scriptures. Hey, I got a pen in my pocket. So I can take home. I got a pen in my Really? What was the Ezekiel? All right, so we are playing right now. We in I really need to get this to her. First Corinthians 14, 33. And we're going to read through 35. Go ahead. Let your woman keep silence in the churches. In the churches, in the congregation. Because when they are speaking, you know how women get. Yeah. They, start, they start. Go all out of the spot right. where you're supposed to be speaking. Gossiping, whatever the case may be. But that causes confusion. Then they start dealing with emotion. They're not judging according to how God's laws are. That's well, why they know. have to be in subjection to their husbands. Right. You understand that? Because you are who God is dealing with. And you're going to correct that in your household. Read on. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Uh-huh. But they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. To be in obedience, as also saith the law. Be quiet in the churches. We don't want no confusion. Read on. And if they will learn anything. If they will learn anything, who should they learn it from? Who you think they should learn it from? God. Okay. Well, who, who they should God? learn it from their husbands. From their husbands. Let's read. Ultimately. And let them ask their husbands at home. Ah, let them ask their husbands at home to get clarity. You understand that? You don't have to, they don't have to speak all that in the world, in the church, or right. in their home. And because they're supposed to be in subjection to, to their, their husband. husband. And if they're not oh married, God. to their father. You understand that? Now, watch this. Let's get that in Numbers 30. We were talking about that earlier today. Oh, uh, yeah, finish that out. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. Why? Because they are going to ultimately cause confusion. You know how some women just can't get along. You understand? Know no, okay, and then, so if she's the leader of a congregation, she ain't going to judge righteous judgment. She going to judge according to how she feel about that sister. Oh, this is my friend. I'm going to take care of her. Right. Not according to how God's order is. You understand that? This is dealing with prayer. Like we said, praying and prophesying, the man should have his head uncovered, the woman should have her head covered, right? So, this is the law on that. All right? So now we have the husband. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 30, verse 6. Uh-huh. And if she had at all a husband, when she bowed or uttered out of her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, uh -huh. and her so husband slow heard down. it. Slow down. So, that bow is she made a prayer. And inside that prayer, she probably said something uh, Lord you know how we do when we we trying to get out of a situation Lord if you get me out of this situation I won't do that again right that's a vow right. and God gonna hold us to that vow you understand that so read on so she bound her soul read on and her husband heard it how you doing bro go ahead and held his peace at her in the day that he heard it all right so he heard that prayer held his peace read 
Then her vows shall stand. Uh -huh. And her bonds wherewith she bound, her soul shall stand. All right, so if he hear the prayer that she send up and he's okay with it, it, it will stand. She will have to deal with that vow. Read on, though. But if her husband disallow her on uh -oh. that day. Disallow her. So she sent up a prayer, and the husband says, no, nah, we ain't letting that fly. That no, was I the thing. She, she what she said. Can I get a rewind? Can I get a rewind? Hold on. Hold on. We're going to finish it. We're going to finish it. We're going to definitely do that for you. Then he okay. shall make her vow when she vow, and that which she utter with her lips, uh -huh. wherewith she bound her soul, of none effect. So the husband can make a prayer of his wife of none effect according to the Bible. Please, can I get a rewind? Let's read it again. Let's read it again. So we're dealing with prayer in the household, showing the man how much power he has in his household. When we're in order, and, and a righteous woman would order. not have a problem with that. A righteous woman. If she's really according to the laws of the Bible, order. Right. Let's get number. Uh, let's read it again. Let's read it again. Then I want numbers 27. The book of Numbers, chapter 30, verse 6. Uh huh. And if she had it all in husband. She. Okay. When she bowed, or utter of her lips, uh -huh. when she bound her soul. So she's binding her soul with a prayer, making a vow unto God. Read All on. right, read on. And her husband heard it. And her husband hears this prayer, read. And held his peace at her in the day that he heard it. So he's fine with the prayer that she sent up. That's the, you, you got your mind right? That's good. We can let it roll. Read on. Then her vow shall stand. Then her vow shall stand, because her husband allowed it to stand. Read on. And her bonds wherewith she bound, her soul shall stand. Uh-huh. But if her husband disallowed her. Ah, uh -huh. so if the husband hears that prayer and says, nah, that, that's that's not how we roll in this household. That, that's not with the right mindset. Read You're on. not in order. You, you didn't even consider this law of God when you were sending that up. No, we you, when you didn't even count the cost of what you were really asking. Read on. Disallowed her on the day that he heard it. Uh -huh. Then he shall make her vow when she vowed at that time when she uttered with her lips, uh -huh. for which she bound her soul of, of none effect. So the husband can disallow, cancel out, make null and void a prayer of his wife if it is not according to God's law you know. and the mind of God. Numbers 27 and 16 is what I want. You got it? Go ahead. Numbers chapter 27, verse 16. Uh huh. Let the Lord, thy God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. No, we can have a prophetess in our church lead. Set a man over the congregation. Well, she can be a part of the uh, pulpit team. Set a man over the congregation. This is the laws of God that say the woman should not be teaching in the congregation. No. Now, if she is going to teach, Let's get Titus 2. Who should the woman be teaching? Because if she's in subjection to her husband, she can't be teaching him. The Bible says that she must go to her husband to, to learn anything. That husband must be instructed by the laws of God, following the example of Christ. So if we in order, everything going to be just fine. Let's get that. Titus 2. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. The aged woman, likewise, uh -huh. that ye... That they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Holiness. Uh huh. Not, According to God's laws, read. Not false accusers. Oh, so don't we hear that amongst our women? False you know. accusers. Lying on one not another. Always. So God's instruction is going to help fix our community, right? We don't. Not giving too much wine. Uh oh, we got a lot of drunk women yeah. uh, with the wine, but sometimes they drunk off the philosophies of this world. Jeez. They thinking they can be independent. They thinking they can run the church. They, they drunk they off the us. lies of our captivity. We know. We don't. Let them get some money, though. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. What are those good things? God's laws. If they ain't teaching that, they're not teaching good things. They're teaching wickedness. And they're doing the white man's bidding in Christianity. We know. They're just saying, I'm a prophetess. But not, not according to this Bible. That's right. We don't. That they may teach the young women. Uh oh, did it say teach their husband? The young women. Did it say teach the men in their church? No, it didn't. The young women. The young women. Now, what should they be teaching the young women? Read on. To be sober. To be sober. Don't be out here being drunk. Matter of fact, order your mind right and get clarity according to what God's word is. Read they on. should be teaching our young women how to dress, how to govern themselves. Uh, shoot. The, the Bible already going to show you what type of man 
should be out in front of the people. They should be teaching the, the young women to be looking for that type of man, not a drug dealer on the, on the corners of, of the neighborhood. Teach. Killing our people. You understand that? The, the Bible sets standards for everything that we can ever imagine. Y'all didn't even know y'all could disallow prayers in your household. That is a standard. Because you as a man, a godly man should already have your household in order. Right. And when it gets out of order, you got the power to put it back in order. That's what that's what God ordained. That's what being a king right. and a priest and a ruler is all about. Right. Setting right. things in order. Right. We don't. Say it again. Say it with your chest. We don't. Say it again. No, say that again. To, to be sober, king. to love their husbands, to love their children. Ah, so this is also what should be taught. How to love their husbands. We got a lot of single parent households. Now some of them are for the fault of the man just leaving. He just saw a piece of tail. He ran up in it and ran out the house. Got her pregnant. Oh, I can't come back here no more because you're going to expect me to really settle down. But the other half of that is sometimes the wife or that woman is talking too much, not encouraging that man, not, not being a pillow of rest for that man. Bring it out. So she runs him out the house because she say she would have passed in the household. Right. Read on. To be discreet. Oh, go back. That teacher, uh, uh, after teaching to love their husbands, teaching them to do what? To love their children. So the Bible says women must learn how to love their children. Bring it out. To truly love their children. Why is that in the Bible? That shows you our women don't really know how to love their children. You ever That's heard right. of latchkey kids? Mm -hmm. Latchkey children? Children that are left at home by themselves? Huh, that ain't no love. Because that mama, it, whether she's single or has a, they should be teaching their children the laws of God. They should be teaching them the ordinances of the Bible. They should be teaching that Christ is a black man because guess what? When those latchkey children are watching TV all day, they will never see or hear about this imagery. But every image that comes on TV in a commercial, that this is what a child's God looks like. Right. If we were to bring a child up here right now, let's see two children off in the distance. If we were to ask them, the parent could say, oh, I know Jesus is black. Right. Well, let me ask your children, because this is what you should be teaching them to know about imagery and understand according to the Bible. That child would say, oh, that's Jesus. That's Jesus. So that, oh, white, that white guy? Yeah. And we never taught them that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.